Python deprecated the package resources module when it deprecated setup tools in 3.12. And if, like me, you use that package resources to maybe output some debugging information in your library, for example, where it was installed, or whatever, then that's probably a little bit of a problem for you. While you can continue using package resources from 3.12 if you install setup tools manually, that's not the recommended way to do that anymore. And the new way, I said a new way, it's been around for a while, but a newly recommended way of doing it, not only, in my opinion, is it actually easier, but it's also backwards compatible because it's not brand new. The import lib module has been around for a while, and so this package resources deprecation isn't actually that big of a problem, even if you need backwards compatibility with old Python versions. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the import lib module in place of where you would have used package resources previously. Of course, if you find this video helpful at any point, then consider leaving a like to let me know and maybe subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. If you're feeling particularly generous, you could support this channel further by becoming a Patreon member. All the information you need is in the description below. But with all that out of the way, out with package resources and in with import lib. So I'm going to start off by showing you how you would do it in the old package resources way. So if we do from package resources import get distribution, and then if we had say dist equals uh, get distribution, and then I have my uh, project analytics installed, and then we could do something like print dist dot version. Uh, and you'll see we get this warning saying that the um, the package resources are deprecated, but we also get this version number at 5.1.0. That's the version I have installed. Also happens to be the latest version of Analytics. Uh, and I do already have setup tools installed. This won't work unless you have it. Although you will still get deprecation warnings both in your IDE, or this is actually saying the library stubs aren't installed. Uh, but you will get um, deprecation warnings in the console if you continue to use package resources. So package resources has been replaced. I say replaced, these things have existed for a while. But the recommended way to do it now is using from import lib import metadata and from import lib import resources. So if I just get rid of all this and then I will import them one at a time and then kind of show you how to use them one at a time. So metadata is how to get uh, information about a distribution. Resources is actually manipulating the files, or at least being able to open them, being able to view what files are part of the distribution uh, and such. It does appear when you're looking through some like methods and that, that there's some overlap between metadata and resources. And I do believe there is, but certain things are different between the two. So I will uh, kind of point those out. But to do what we did before, to get the version, uh, you would do uh, print metadata dot version analytics. And this just gets the version of the analytics package. If you wanted, say, uh, the entry points, you could do, if I could double click, there we go. You could do that, although the entry points, I believe, I'm just gonna test this, yeah, it needs a named argument for this one, which is a bit weird. Um, but you can see this comes up as, a, as an empty tuple because analytics doesn't have any. If we provide black, oops, we have our entry point as black there uh, using the console script. So the entry point is the entry points part of the setup uh, dot pi. And this is what the metadata really handles. Uh, there's not much else to it. If I quickly just show you. So metadata dot and then you get these. The so distribution is a little bit closer to the package resources distribution. I'm not too sure what it does differently um, because it just seems to be a lesser version of metadata but I don't know if anyone does know then let me know. You also have files which returns a list of files for the name package which uh, this is one of the things that's actually different because resources has this too but this returns literally everything uh, that is part of it including weirdly the tests. I feel like those shouldn't be in there. Maybe I've messed something up uh, in, <laughs> in analytics but yeah, that does that. So if we now move on to the resources side of things, so if I just comment this out so it doesn't get in the way, and we import resources from import lib. And this is more the, the file handling per se. It allows you to look into a distribution, uh, see what files it has, it allows you to see where it's installed, um, and you can actually read and open the files and probably write to the files as well, however you want. Um, which is certainly an interesting way to use it. But 
To get the, the main install location, what you would do is you would print metadata dot, not metadata, but resources dot files analytics. And you'll notice that we have files here for metadata and files and resources. But you'll also notice when I run this, that the two do very different things. So files um, in metadata, as you saw, outputs all the files in the distribution. Files in resources outputs the, um, the root directory of the distribution. So in this case, it's in users, my name, PyM version, CBR resources, lib, 3.12, site packages, and analytics. So this is where it's actually installed. And if I were to go here, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting it to do. I was expecting it to do it in a new tab, but I suppose we're doing a new window. But you can see this is an analytics. I can open the client and it's all it's all there. And if we do say, you know, dot glob um startup high, we can see we can get a list uh of uh if we do a list around that. And then my terminal, there we go. Uh, we can get a list of all the you know, all the files within the, all the Python files that I've done within that directory. So that's how you can start scanning things. If you wanted to actually read a file, of course it's just a Python or it's just a Pathlib object. So you can do resources dot open text or open binary uh, analytics and then provide the name of the file. So say client dot pi. And if we do dot read and if we just print that, it will just print the contents of the file out to the desktop or well, not the desktop the terminal i'm getting all my words confused today uh, but this is just the file as it is in the installed distribution so this is you know one way you could look at the source code if you wanted to you could also use the write if you really wanted to write things i don't necessarily know why you would in this context but that's available to you uh, some other things in the resources uh, as file, yeah, so this is calls it a traversable object in the files as well. Uh, you then have contents, which is deprecated. Uh, you then also have a number of things that are also deprecated. The path, oh, this is the file path to a specific file. Um, so if you wanted to, you know, get the actual file path to, you know, client.py, then you can do so from there. Or you can do read text and read binary as well. Okay, I went the long way around. But you get the idea with how you use these things. So that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. If you have any questions about what you've seen or any ideas of videos you want me to do in the future, then let me know in the comments below. I read every single one, so your feedback is greatly appreciated. I'd also like to thank my amazing patrons and members on screen now, especially Mazard Rashomon III for being so generous. And I'll see you in the next video where we take a look at a new feature coming to data classes in Python 3.13. So I'll see you for that.